to engrave on these glass tiles. A while back I did a video of doing dye sublimation onto clear vinyl on the front of one of these glass tiles. As you can see here, this is one of them. Well, one of my viewers pointed out that you can laser engrave this coating that's on the back of these glass tiles you buy at the home center. So this is what the back looks like. Of course, this one's already got graphics on the front. But I have a blank right here. I'm going to show you how we do this coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And what I have sitting in front of me here is a long array 5 laser engraver, which is what I'm going to be using for this project. And I'm en engraving on the back of glass tiles you buy at the home center. And I've done all kinds of tests to find the right settings, and that's why this one's all funky looking. But if you engrave on the back, it'll shine through the front, and it'll look like this. It has kind of a, a crystallized look to it. It's kind of uh, neat looking. Uh, very, very detailed, too. I did this with this laser. This one here was done with what they call dye sublimation clear vinyl on the glass and it was uh, quite the project but it it came out well. I originally had saw these and saw they had a white coating in the back and wondered if I could sublimate through that and have it shine through the front. That doesn't work. This coating is some type of powder coating that is fused onto the glass. It is almost impossible to get off but it does laser engrave as one of my viewers pointed out and I have since made some signs for people. And that's one of the reasons there's a new spoil board on this laser. If you watched my original video of making the spoil board for this, when I was engraving that glass tile, I didn't have anything underneath it. And we ended up with that person's name on the spoil board because it made an outline of it. And I didn't want that showing up in my video, so we have another spoil board. At any rate, uh, when you get done, it looks like this on the back. Nothing great to look at, but. This is mounted on the wall. This isn't going to rub off. Uh, one of the problems with sublimation onto the front is you could scratch this or mar it or mess it up. I mean, it isn't going to wash off, but you could scratch it. This you won't. This will be extremely permanent. So what I'm going to make this sign on this blank, and you get these at the home store, and there's different sizes. This is the uh, what they call a 4 by 12 but it's actually 3 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. There'll be a little UPC sticker in the back you're going to have to get peeled off. And you need to find the center. Or at least I do because I always work from center. So I'll take you over the computer and show you how I get this graphic set up. Okay so over here in light burning there may be some background noise because I'm standing very close to a, a network server and it has a fan running. Hopefully I won't pick all that up. So I have light burn open here and of course, I have the longer ray 5 chosen. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a tool path. And my glass tile measures 3.75 by 11.75. So I'm going to make a tool path that size. Now lock that, and I'll go down here and click on T1. Wait, that's toolpath. Okay, so there's my toolpath. Now I need to import my graphic. I already know what I want here. It's my laundry room graphic. Of course, it's obviously way bigger than the uh, toolpath. One thing I do want to do here before I go any farther is to group that. Now I need to resize that. Okay, let's take that down. I don't want to go the full 3.75 because I'll run into the uh, little bevels on the side. So I'm going to go 3.5 high. So that will fit in there. And to make sure we get it centered in there, because as you can see, it's not quite centered. If you select the whole thing, we'll appear to this little bullseye guy here. That will center it. Perfect. Okay, my... Cut and layers here. Okay, for my settings, I'm using offset fill here, 1,000 millimeters per minute at 70% power. Of course, since we're engraving on the back of this, 
This needs to be flipped or mirrored, as they say. One easy way to do that is select the whole thing right up here to flip horizontal. And it is now mirrored. But we can do a preview of this right up here. And it's going to take 53 minutes and 45 seconds to engrave. We'll get this set up on the laser. Okay, so I got the laptop over here next to the laser. Got the laser set up, got the focus set. As you can see, I have the white side up, the glass side down, so the coating is up. I focused onto that coating layer. You can also do it the other way. However, you have to take the shield off to do it, in which, in which case you would not be using the shield. And with that shield off there, you're going to have all kinds of light refracting. You also have to focus on the surface of the whatever you have underneath because a laser beam will actually pass through. I did try that once that way. It made absolutely no difference in uh, the result. So I prefer to do it this way and mirror my graphic. So what I've done was I have this centered and it is on my mark. And something else you need to realize when you are engraving anything with glass, whether it be this or your etching glass, you absolutely have to wear safety glasses or goggles because that light will refract all over the place as you will see here shortly. And that can be very harmful to your vision. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to frame this. I also have a little piece of cardboard that's underneath that. So I won't make any marks on my spoil board this time. Make sure everything's in line. Actually, I'm going to frame it again, but I'm going to frame it with a laser beam on. You can do that by holding the shift key down, then clicking frame. Now you can see where the laser beam's going to be. It's following right on the edge there, like it should. Everything looks good and square. So we will click, need to put these on, we'll click start. So you can see how that light refracts out of there, that's why you definitely need to keep your safety goggles on. Of course I'm not going to record the entire 53 minutes of this, but we'll come back to this periodically. So here we have it, pull that off of there, and there's our sign. So here's our sign complete, uh, took just about an hour, and I need to make a few more of these here, which I'll be doing uh, obviously off camera. But this is uh, a nice thing you can use. You could. Uh, Lots of different things you could do with this. You could use, uh, maybe put somebody's name on here. I did one for a doctor. That's why I had to replace my spoil board because the name went right on through onto the spoil board. But this uh, it's a nice thick piece of glass. This is obviously very permanent. And it has kind of a nice, neat little kind of crystallized look to it. And a lot of people that I have seen this have, you know, how'd you do that? Well, you know, what's, what is that? And it's like, well, that's a secret. So, something you could possibly do with your business. And, of course, I used the uh, Longer Ray 5 here because, uh, well, it was here. I already had that one set up. But it's ideal for this. And what's going to make it even better is uh, as I do these other ones, I'm going to use the offline controller so I can take this laptop and uh, use it on another laser for a different project. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.